happy Thursday. So, gotta show you stuff quickly. First, District Shop Tribune. Got it for Christmas. Caught up with money. So, best memory. It includes this, my shirt, which says we're all wizards, even Ron. And on the back is... I don't know if you guys can see it. Heels says Riga's autograph. Because my best memory is the Yule Ball I went to a couple Sundays ago. So, uh, let me talk about that in a second. Quickly. So, the song of the week is from Alex Carpenter. He's part of the Rupert Slupins. His album that he wrote from the books, The Hunger Games, is called Freedom and Panem. And this song is called Freedom and Panem. Hunger Games. F the what? What was that? It was ridiculous. I don't know why my camera's like blacking up here. It's ridiculous. So, it says District Top Tribune, Mocking Jason Ball. I'm a big Hunger Games fan, so I love the Hunger Games. So, yeah. I'm talking really fast and I apologize. But I have a lot to talk about though. Okay, so before I go into the ball, one thing I want to talk about is the ultimate Harry Potter reread. Somebody figured out that if you start on Christmas Eve and read one chapter and go in order of all the books, including the Tales of Beale the Bard, you will read the last chapter of the Tales of Beale the Bard the day before Deathly Hallows Part 2 comes out. It's pretty intense, and I'm doing it actually. I started Death, I started, not Deathly House. I started Sorcerer's Stone. Um, Christmas Eve, and I just read the chapter I was supposed to read today a couple minutes, finished a couple minutes ago. It's, it's pretty hard, but I think that it also gives you a chance to absorb the chapter more, you know? So, now on to the Yule Ball. I can't stop looking at the fact that Neil Cicerica autographed this shirt. So, let's talk about the Yule Ball, shall we? It was amazing! I left for Cambridge with my friend uh, in the car, and we listened to uh, a very pod musical and a very pod sequel songs, and then a couple Darren Chris songs when we were in Boston looking for parking spices for for us to go shopping. And we went shopping, we had dinner, and then we stopped in a small cafe. We bought some coffee so we could actually change their bathrooms. So we changed there, and then we got and we went and we drove up to the Middle East, and there was a big line. We waited in line for we waited in line outside for about five minutes. We waited for 10, we waited for about another 5 inside, when we found that the event was sold out, and this, this compas the capacity I saw in the set, like they had a sign that says this many people, is about 545 people was the limit allowed. It's pretty amazing. So anyway, we had a really great time. There are pictures of, there's pictures on my, on, there's pictures on, I, there's pictures, I will be uploading them in the next, in the near future along with videos. But it was really amazing. There were lots of bands. We got there in the middle of Jason Anderson's performance. We, I uh, made sure I, I got our way. I made sure that I pushed my way to our. Me, me and my friend made. I made sure that I got me and my friend to the front. Um, it was really amazing. And we stayed in the front all night. We switched off to get drinks. They had, they had drinks with names like they had Veritaserum, which was water. Uh, they had. Uh, Phoenix tears. I think that's what we had. No, I didn't have Phoenix tears. There was Phoenix tears, butter beer. We had Skelligro, that's what it was. It was cranberry juice and Sprite. You may think that's gross. Really good, actually. It was like, oh, my friend got it, because I was too nervous. I'm like, okay, I'm not going to buy something that I want. I nicked a menu, though. <laughs> don't tell the Middle East. I don't think they're going to care, but whatever. Um, so anyway, so we were there for all the performances. We caught Jason Anderson in the middle. I got to go up to the Potter Puppet Pals. It was pretty amazing. There's going to be a link in the doobly-doo to the album Freedom and Panel by Alex Carpenter in the video that is on YouTube currently of the Pop Up Palace performance. You will see me. I'm the only female judge. It was pretty amazing. I got to uh, I got to shake Snape's hand. I got to touch Harry, the puppet, and Snape the puppet. And I got to tell Snape the puppet I loved him and you'll see that in the video. It's pretty amazing. Um and then afterwards the and then the Harry and the and then Drake on the and then Harry the Potters came on. They went on for a while, and then their set ended, and we all called for encore. And then they came back and did a couple more songs, and then the thing was over. It's about 10 o'clock when it ended, 10, 10, 15. And my friend's mom was like, "Okay, you guys can stay for like another for as long as as long as you're gonna be up." And we're like, "Okay, cool, we can stay for a little while longer, you know." And then we went back to the merch table to get stuff, and that's where I got my shirt. My friend got one that says Wizard Angst on it. And we met Neil Cesarita, and it was really great because I hugged and I hugged. And we, first, we met Joe DeGeorge, one of the Harry, one of the brothers from Harry and the Potters, and I hugged him, and I was like, "I love you, so amazing!" And we got pictures with Joe. Then I went to the merch table, and so we were looking at stuff. I actually met Andrew Slack, who is the founder of the Harry Potter Alliance. By the way, all three Yule balls managed to make four thousand dollars for the Harry Potter Alliance. Amazing! 
So Andrew Sack, I met him. I told him I did not like the fact that he had AK Alex Carpenter in the face at the Deathly Hallows premiere. And I told him it was my birthday that day, the day of Deathly Hallows that it came out. And he was like, oh, happy belated birthday. It was really great. And <laughs> it was really nice. Andrew Sack is really nice, actually. And then we met Neil Cesariga. Shoot, I'm going to be going over time. Please feel free to issue me a punishment at this point, guys. So, uh, so yeah, and then we met Neil, we met Paul DeGeorge, the other DeGeorge brother in the Harry and the Potters, and I proposed to Neil Cesariga, and he said yes. And we had a great night, and then we went home, and we slept for five hours, and then we got up really early in the morning to get to school. And everyone was really jealous. It was amazing. So, that was my best memory, and it was really amazing, and that was the shirt I showed you was my thing I could show you. Okay? So, DFTBA guys, please, please guys, issue D Adrian, uh, Itzel, issue me a punishment, because I totally went over time. Wow. Okay. DFTBA guys, I'll see you next Thursday. I hope you all had very Merry Christmases, Hanukkahs, Kwanzaas, and Stella, I hope that you had a very great birthday. Happy belated. Peace out, guys.